belt. I took these connecting pieces from the Ava Foam floor mat. Got this from Zian Prod, whatever the dude's YouTube name is. Put it here. Um, and this only goes about halfway around my body. So after I glue on this side, because it's the bad side, you glue all this together to make it one. I'm going to put elastic onto this side and then we're going to be able to hook it in the back with uh, belt buckles. So just worry about gluing this down first. Test fit some pouches that I had. I bought these from Goodwill for about $2 each. And since this thing is finally glued, um, I'm going to actually take these pouches off now that I know they fit. And on one of the sides, whichever preferred, I'm going to put some elastic and a buckle that I will be able to buckle to the back of the belt. And the elastic is going to be holding the rest of this belt together. But before that, I'm going to coat this thing. I'm going to wrap it before or after. I don't even know. Whatever. I'm going to soon wrap this thing in black leather so that you cannot see this texture and it would look like a normal belt. I measured this belt out to be at least close to 22 inches and my waistline is 32. So as you can see here I measured the elastic out to 32 inches and I just remembered this is elastic. So you make sure when you're making yours to cut this down a little bit because elastic is supposed to stretch. It's not a normal strap. It's not a normal strap. So maybe cut a few inches off. Determine how far the elastic stretches when it's being stretched. So it would be able to extend. Like say if you cut it to 30 inches. Maybe during the stretching around your waist when you put the belt on. It will extend to 32 so you make it actually have its purpose as being elastic. So just play around with that and try your best to make it fit that. With a 32 inch waistline and a 22 inch long belt to add the elastic to it to make it actually stretch, you're gonna need to make the elastic about five inches to give it enough stretching power to stretch all the way up to 20, 32 inches. Both buckle and once both buckle ends are glued on thoroughly, um, test fit it. And if that works, move on to adding the leather casing. And as you know, if you can note, I just put a little bit of strapping here, not really to have elastic, but just to basically hold that end of the buckle, just to put it in place so I can clip it whenever it's on. So now I'm going to be sandwiching this in between the fabric with these ends open so that and this can peek out and connect. And I'll be hot gluing that. 